So for today, we're going to be looking at the Veteran Legend set for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor and done the Shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. And we've already done the Hunter video, which is right here. Definitely check them out. Hunters specifically, dog, let me tell y'all, the second and fourth sets, amazing. Legitimately, like some of the best stuff I've done. And I'm super excited for the Titans because I also think a lot of the pieces that you guys got are really cool. That being said, uh, for the review video, we check out how it looks, how shaders and my personal thoughts. Shader video, we look at all the shaders that I currently have favorited because if I do all of them, I legitimately fall asleep. And again, I've already spoken about the Hunter video. So yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think about some of these sets. I definitely like a lot of these. To be fair though, the first one's not that great. Well, we'll get to that when we get to that. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're gonna be looking at the Veteran Legend Helm and the Veteran Legend Gauntlets. For the exotic, it's gonna be the Lion Ramparts with the Rocket Scientist Ornament. For the chest piece, Devastation Complex, and then for the Mark, it's gonna be the Moonfang X7 Mark. So shadering wise, Precursor X Chrome. And I actually really like this set, like more so than I thought. That being said, I will say there's some limitations here. Specifically, when it comes to shading, you're gonna want a shader that has a good white or has, uh, goes well with white because unfortunately the rocket scientist ornament, um, you guys will notice it because the white is super different. Uh, the white on the boots and up to the shins the kneecaps and then some of the actual thigh armor is a different white compared to everything else that's pieces that don't change color which is why i went with precursor x chrome i mean to be fair i can definitely notice the difference but you have to actually notice it you have to like look notice it so that's why i don't mind it too much so just be aware that is an annoying thing that you will have to fight um if you really wanted to you can just use one of the other sh other ornaments that ornament has just good shadering overall and will not annoy you like this ornament does specifically the villainous boosters that's the ornament i'm talking about that actually shaders well it does have pieces that don't shader i think it's like two zippers that don't turn red but other than that it, it's way better than the rocket scientist which is just a lot of pieces are white and the base look which on the side has like a red dragon or red line that doesn't change colors so it's like one of those pick your poisons type of thing but overall i don't i don't mind this one um i think it's pretty cool specifically like there's things in this that i like specifically the helmet and the chest piece and the boots i really like that they're all rounded but i also like the fact that the arms and the boots go well together because they also have like a slit specifically the shoulders have like that really thin metal piece and the boots have that like wing at the back of the rockets which is what I'm saying. Like, it looks really well. I would probably just switch out the mark, maybe. The mark is cool, but it's, I don't know, like maybe something with a crotch plate or something along those lines. Um, it definitely has to be symmetrical, though, because everything in this is symmetrical, so it would have to be symmetrical. But overall, I don't think it's bad by any means. It's just not, like, doesn't wow me. It's more of like a, this is serviceable. This is definitely something like a Titan would wear, but let me know what you guys think. As for the next piece, we're going to be using the Veteran Legend plate with the dune marchers and the dip the hip waiter ornament on it so i actually really like this one for the helmet devastation complex helm for the arms and seven gauntlets for the mark thunderous impact and the shadering is going to be donning brilliance specifically because it turns off the n7 gauntlets uh, multi-tool which is like a glow so i actually really like this one like i've said but it's because everything goes so well together uh the helmet and the boots have that glow which is why i like those two but then you have the arms and the mark the arms specifically the shoulder pads go really well with the actual belt which is why i really like it and even the fact that like the arms are asymmetrical the left side takes different colors to the right side it's actually symmetrical with the boots because the boots also has that problem if i remember correctly so i actually like this one quite a bit more so than i thought like it came out really well it's very clean but i also think because it's so clean some people are going to be like it's a little boring which definitely i can definitely see that but it, i would say it's more simple than anything else because it's not like doing anything super flashy it's just something that like i don't it's so hard to explain but like i i love it it looks super dope so let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next piece veteran legend greaves so this one is interesting because we're using the armamentarium with the second energy ornament 
and a lot of pieces that are glowing. So the N7 helm for that glow, the survival of the strong gauntlets for that glow, and then the Lux mark. So I would honestly, if you really, if you were like, I need one more piece for a glow, survival of the strong mark, I think would be a good choice just because it's the best glow. It's a lot of surface area that, that has the glow, specifically all of it. So I think that would be the best choice. Um, if you really wanted to, you could switch out the veteran uh, legend Greece for something else, but that kind of defeats the purpose because that's literally the reason why I'm using this. It's literally the point of the video. So this one's a rough one. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, because like, I think the I think the boots not having a glow is a problem for this set. So yeah, I think the, the best choice would just be put survival of the strong mark on it, and I think it would be way better. But overall i really do like this set for the shadering vitrified duality is what we're using i love this shader that being said i don't think it's a good shader for the boots and the chest piece combining together it just looks like it's not cohesive it's not like a whole one thing it's it, that, it very much feels like the boots and the chest piece are completely different which is something i don't like to do when i'm trying to combine two pieces together the boots and the and the chest piece should at least have some like some like synergy like almost like i i put on uh uh like a body armor type of thing where it's like connected all around and then i start putting the armor pieces on that's how i feel like it should look so definitely not the worst um i actually still really really like this one i would just switch out the mark for something else and then last but not least this is funny considering the actual thing on the actually by the time I'm editing or f finished making this video, it shouldn't be up. But if it is up, I'll explain it. Um, the N7 Greaves and the Cryptic Insignia is not showcased here. I don't know why it's up here. But again, like if I fixed it, then ignore what I just said. So for this one, it's pretty interesting considering there's a few pieces I would switch out from here and it would still look pretty cool. And by actually, if I, I would probably argue it would look way better. So Wildwood Helm, Wall Watcher Gauntlets for the exotic. It's going to be the Grand Vicksport Ornament. For the Actium War Rig, for the boots, it's gonna be the Deep Explorer Greaves, and then for the Mark Veteran Le Veteran Legend Mark. So I actually really like this set. It's super super cool. That being said, there's pieces I would definitely switch out from this. Um, the only pieces I wouldn't switch out would be the Wall Watcher Gauntlets, the Grand Vicksburg Ornament, specifically the Actium War Rig, and then the Veteran Legend Mark. I think those three are like the pieces that I would never switch out. But the helmet, you could really buck, go buck wild with it. Uh, the boots, is, I would probably just switch it out for either Deep Explorer Greaves, which is already being showcased, um, or the actual Wildwood Greaves as well. I think those would be a little bit better just because the Wildwood Greaves has a piece on the right side and it would go really well with the mark because the mark is on the left side and then the other piece is on the right side. So it would look really cool. And then for the helmet, I would honestly switch this out for probably the Deep Explorer helmet. I think that one would be a good choice. That being said, it's not the only choice because you could also do the Eidolon Pursuant helmet. You could do the Hardened Basilisk if you have that. You can do the Exodus Dawn helmet, which is not hard considering that's from Nessus. You can do the Dark Age helm, which is not hard. It's from a the newest dungeon so far. If you're looking at this after the new dungeon from Remedin it out, and then obviously that's different but yeah there's definitely a lot of helmets you could be doing instead of the wildhood hunt and my only thing is i really mm, i like the wildhood hunt helm a lot i would just switch it up because it doesn't look like this set doesn't look like what a juggernaut would, would wear a juggernaut would be wearing something like bulky and bulked out that's why when i combine this helmet with certain pieces it's it's usually with a set that looks bulky which is why i'm not really feeling it here which, to be fair, if I would, if you were to ask me like which helmet would you use, it would most likely be the Eidolon Pursuant helmet. I think that one would just be way better because it would give off that vibe of uh, tactical espionage type of thing. So that's what I would be using. So let me know what you guys think, Titans. I really like a lot of your pieces. To be fair, like the second I think is absolutely beautiful. I know people will say it looks simplistic, but I th I feel like that's its strength, not a weakness. Um, the third one is super dope. I like it. There's just pieces that I would switch out. Same thing for the fourth one. Like I like it a lot, but to be fair, the fourth one is different because it's not switching pieces out to make it better. It's switching pieces out to see which style you like more because Titans have some pretty good pieces for tactical. So that one's more, much more of a, like, I would go buck wild with each of the combos and it'd be cool. So first one, honestly, not bad. And by any means, it looks cool. 
I just don't really care for it because I don't personally really use that exotic that much to be like, oh, whatever. So, and I've also made some other cool sets with the ornament that I actually like. So, Titans, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point because most people don't. Remember, like, comment, subscribe always really does help. Um, not just me, but just content creators in general. Um, yeah, I'm going to be working on a few things. I'm really excited for Revenant to come out because we're getting vampire-esque armor, which is really exciting because the only class that has vampire stuff is the warlocks from the Halloween event. Not only that, Halloween's coming up, which is going to be cool because we're getting wizard stuff. Well, good wizard stuff for, I think, the, the titans and warlocks, I think? And then the hunter ones are getting the... Man, I'm excited to get that armor because it's going to be negative. I, I really... We're gonna make a few videos on it because I do think uh, Benji should just give us both armors, choose which one is the paid one and which one is the free one. That would be way better because then it would show we would get two armor sets for each of the events and one of them would be free and one of them would be paid, which I think is super cool. So yeah, I have a few things planned for the Halloween event because uh, we're gonna talk about the armor, we're gonna be doing review for the armor and then we're gonna be doing the review stuff for the um, for the new armor as well the season pass armor as well like i'm just i have so much plans for revenant i'm really excited hopefully i can keep up with my second con my second channel because i do have a second channel where i'm posting space marine content right now and then in the future i'll be posting more stuff but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later